Cloud Computing Unit 2 for RGPV exam. Utility Computing Utility computing is a model for delivering computing resources, such as processing power and storage, as a metered service similar to a public utility like electricity. In this model, customers only pay for the resources they use, and the provider can scale up or down the available resources based on demand. This allows organizations to avoid the upfront costs associated with building and maintaining their own IT infrastructure while still having access to the computing resources they need. Elastic computing. Elastic computing refers to the ability to dynamically allocate and deallocate computing resources based on demand. This is achieved through the use of virtualization and cloud computing technologies, which allow resources to be provisioned and deprovisioned on the fly. Elastic computing is particularly useful for workloads that experience fluctuations in demand, as it allows organizations to scale up resources during peak periods and scale them back down during periods of low demand. This can result in significant cost savings, as organizations only pay for the resources they use. AJAX, Asynchronous, Rich, Interfaces AJAX, or Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, is a web development technique that allows for the creation of rich, interactive web applications. By using a combination of JavaScript, XML, and other web technologies, AJAX allows web applications to update content dynamically without the need for a page refresh. This results in a more fluid and responsive user experience, similar to that of a desktop application. Asynchronous processing is a key aspect of AJAX, as it allows the web application to perform background processing without blocking the user interface. Mashups User Interface A mashup is a web application or service that combines data or functionality from multiple sources to create a new, integrated experience. Mashups typically leverage web APIs, which allow developers to access data or functionality from other web services, and combine this data with other sources to create a new application. Mashups can be used to create a wide range of applications, from simple data visualizations to complex business applications. Services Virtualization Technology Virtualization Applications in Enterprises Services Virtualization Technology refers to the use of virtualization techniques to create a virtual environment for software development and testing. This allows developers to test their applications in a controlled, isolated environment that simulates the production environment. By using services virtualization, developers can avoid the costs and complexities associated with setting up and maintaining physical hardware and software systems. Services virtualization can also improve the quality and speed of software development by allowing developers to test their applications more quickly and effectively. Pitfalls of Virtualization while virtualization can offer many benefits, it is important to be aware of the potential pitfalls. One common issue is performance degradation, which can occur when multiple virtual machines are running on the same physical server. Another issue is the potential for increased complexity, as managing multiple virtual machines can be more difficult than managing a single physical machine. Security is also a concern, as virtual machines can be vulnerable to attacks that exploit weaknesses in the virtualization software or the underlying hardware. Multi-tenant software, multi-entity support, multi-schema approach, multi-tenancy using cloud data stores. Multi-tenant software is software that is designed to support multiple customers or tenants on a single software instance. This is achieved through a variety of techniques, such as multi-entity support, which allows different entities or divisions within an organization to use the software with their own unique data and workflows. Another approach is the multi-schema approach, which uses separate database schemas to isolate data between different tenants. Cloud data stores can also be used to implement multi-tenancy, as they can provide a scalable, distributed database architecture that allows for secure and isolated access to data for different tenants. However, it is important to be aware of the potential security and performance issues associated with multi-tenancy, as well as the need for robust data isolation and access controls.